a lot of people starting up new businesses that want to be part uh, of this Pulse Entrepreneurship uh, Support Programme and I think it would be really great for people, not just from Banlaslow, but the wider hinterland, South Roscommon, uh, Offaly, uh, right across Galway, that can come to Banlaslow once a month for an hour to sit down with people, like-minded people that are starting off their business. I think it would be great for everyone. We have great news in relation to the Greenway, this is the cycleway between uh, Dublin and Galway. We have secured €200,000 uh, to progress the planning between Athlone and Galway. As you know, the uh, route between Athlone and Banwaslow is pretty finalised at this stage. So what we're looking at now is planning out a route between Banwaslow and Galway, working with uh, the local landowners uh, to get agreement and consent to agree a route that will uh, bring cyclists right from the docklands in Dublin, right to, to Galway City and on out to Connemara. And that's going to be crucially important in bringing tourists into this part uh, of the country and promoting Ireland's hidden heartlands. Banislow is really now uh, at the focal point of recreational tourism uh, in Ireland. We have Ireland's Hidden Heart Heartlands, which is a new tourism brand uh, that's being promoted. Uh, and it involves the development of the Greenway between uh, Dublin and Galway for cyclists and walkers. But we've also developed a new uh, walkway from the Beirut Peninsula in West Cork, right up through the middle of the country, through the Hymany Way, the Suck Valley Way, and on up to Black Line on the Cavan for Manor border. And the plan is now to link that up with the uh, Ulster Way so you can walk from the Beira Peninsula in West Cork right up through Banlaslow to the Glens of Antrim and market this uh, as Ireland's answer to the Camino. So with the Greenway going east-west, the Beira Brefney Way going north-south, Banlaslow is going to be a real focal point for recreation and tourism in the future, but it's also making Banlaslow and the communities around it a far better place in which to live because people locally can access these amenities as well. There's opportunities now to bring investment into recreational facilities, heritage facilities, tourism facilities right across uh, this constituency and that helps to develop and promote the Ireland Hidden Heartlands tourism brand but also brings uh, new cash income into the local community, supporting local jobs, long-term sustainable jobs.